All right, let's talk about set point elevation and weight gain due to pregnancy and menopause. So first let's start with pregnancy and talk about why uh, women gain a significant am amount of weight um, in their attempts to become pregnant and during pregnancy itself. The first is, is that the traditional nutritional advice that we give uh, women who are pregnant is that you're eating for two. And a lot of women look at pregnancy as a, uh, uh, an excuse or an opportunity to really let their nutritional um, uh, diligence go by the wayside and kind of just eat whatever they'd like. And um, while this certainly is tempting and can make pregnancy um, a little more tolerable, uh, it's probably not the best advice for either the woman or her unborn child. Um, also, we have the hormones during pregnancy. Those are designed to trigger weight gain. A, a critical part of a, of a healthy pregnancy is weight gain. And we'll see this even in, in famine regions where women will gain a significant amount of weight during pregnancy. And, um, and, and this is something that, that is the way our body designed and, and in fact uh, will sacrifice all of our own nutrition in order to um, preserve the, the nutrition for the, for the unborn baby. Also, pregnancy is often associated with the period of decreased activity. So being put on bed rest is not an uncommon outcome uh, during a pregnancy for the last you know, month or sometimes even the last trimester. And as we learned in the last video, a, a prolonged period of inactivity can result in muscle loss, which can result in weight gain that is, tends to be permanent um, or very difficult to reverse. And then finally, infertility is a very common problem and the infertility treatments that we use are loaded with hormones and these hormones also can cause a significant amount of weight gain. I've seen many women in my office who report to me that during their infertility treatments they gain 30 pounds. Now let's talk about after pregnancy and why there's significant weight gain then. Um, the first thing that I've noticed is that if you become pregnant later in life, and later in life is really mid to late 30s or beyond, um, that that event is often associated with a lot more long-term weight gain than pregnancy in say your early or mid 20s. And why that is, I can't tell you, but I've found time and time again that um, women who, ha who uh, became pregnant uh, later in life, especially if it's their first child, um, oftentimes gained a significant amount of weight after that. And why that is, I can't tell you, but it's certainly something I've seen over and over again. Also, pregnancy is associated with a lot of sleepless nights. These guys uh, down here, they're, they're, pretty, um, they're pretty noisy at night and oftentimes interrupt your sleep. Um, and a prolonged uh, period of, of decreased sleep or a disruption in the normal sleep-wake cycle is a, is a major uh, cause of weight gain. So all of these long sleepless nights don't help things at all. Um, and oftentimes as we're kind of raising a, a baby, they require so much of our time and energy that we tend to put our own nutritional goals on hold and we're not as disciplined as we have been in the past with our exercise or nutrition. Um, and also these kids, you know, having a baby, it can be a very stressful experience. Um, and, 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 and this can also cause significant weight gain. Um, so all of these factors, again, kind of work together to create this perfect storm of, of uh, op an opportunity for weight gain. So what are some strategies for nutrition during pregnancy? Um, and what are things that I would recommend to someone who's trying to become pregnant um, or, is actually, or, or is pregnant right now? Um, the first thing I tell all pregnant women is that there's never a moment in time, never a period of your life where good nutrition is more critical than when you are pregnant. And it's to prevent the weight gain that your body is set up to experience during pregnancy and afterward. But even more importantly, it, it's important for your unborn child. And the reason that that is is because of something called epigenetics. Most of us understand that genetics is our DNA or the way our, our, um, our genes, which are in every cell in our body, it, are, uh, command and, and, and express all of these physical traits. And some people believe that their obesity is the result of their genetics. And there certainly is a lot of reason to believe that. That's absolutely true. Um, however, epigenetics is a, is a little subtle deviation from the traditional idea of genetics. Genetics um, um, theories state that whatever your genes are, that's what's going to happen to you. But epigenetics is different. And what it recognizes is that we all have you know, millions of genes in our, in our body. And 
some of them are turned on and some of them are turned off. And our environment and our life experience can trigger these genes from coming on and off. And um, epigenetics is really the study or the science of what turns a gene on or off. And what we find is that eating a heavily processed diet can turn on some genes that favor fat storage and weight gain. And eating a whole um, um, uh, plant-based, uh, not necessarily vegan or vegetarian, but, but a lot of fruits and vegetables, a lot of plants in your diet, that eating a diet like that can trigger some um, genes that are gonna favor weight loss and favor leanness. So that if a mother, while pregnant, eats an unprocessed diet, very much like the Pound of Cure program, that that can instill some of the, their unborn fetus to turn off the genes that would promote obesity later in life and turn on the genes that are gonna promote uh, leanness. It's also really important to stay active and exercise, especially because if you're not exercising up until pregnancy, pregnancy is really not the best time to start exercising. However, if you already do exercise regularly, then you can continue to exercise throughout most of your pregnancy. And, and, and that also helps a tremendous amount in preventing weight gain um, afterward. Um, and also, if you're overweight, aim for about 10 to 25 pounds of weight gain. Really try to keep the weight gain to a minimum during the pregnancy. Gaining 50 or 60 pounds during a pregnancy can be very damaging from a metabolic perspective over the long run. Now let's switch gears a little bit and talk about menopause. Uh, menopause is a largely inescapable metabolic part of a, of a woman's life. Um, and it's often associated with a significant amount of muscle loss. Again, in the last video, we talked about how important muscle is in terms of keeping that set point down toward the lean side. And as you lose muscle, that tends to promote the generation of, of body fat. And menopause, as the hormones uh, shift and decrease, can absolutely cause uh, a significant amount of uh, muscle loss. And also just aging in general often triggers your body toward fat storage and also makes losing that fat that much more difficult. Working with young people in my office on nutrition is, is often a pleasure. As people get up into the 50s, 60s, and 70s, it can get really challenging. Now this is not by any means an absolute statement, and I've worked with women in their mid to late 70s who were barely mobile who were able to lose 50 or 60 pounds just by modifying their nutrition. So it's not to say that this is absolutely a 100% um, a, 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 a determinant that you're never gonna succeed, it just makes it harder. Um, another thing that I notice in postmenopausal women is that there tends to be a focus on dairy to prevent bone loss. And the concept, the idea is that dairy is rich in vitamin D and calcium, and as a result promotes bone health. The truth is the science on that is not very clear at all, in my opinion, eating a lot of dairy may actually decrease your bone density. And in fact, it's eating a plant-rich diet, eating a, a really super healthy um, um, diet of fruit, vegetables, nuts, seeds, and beans, that can actually promote bone strength. So, so looking at dairy as this, as this salvation to prevent osteoporosis that goes along with menopause is, is probably not accurate and not healthy and may predispose you to significant weight gain. So these are, are largely unavoidable life events, pregnancy and menopause. I think that very few people would not become pregnant because they are afraid they might lose a few pounds. And menopause is something you really can't do much about no matter what. Um, but it's important that we recognize the importance of these uh, stages in life as a potential trigger for weight gain and, and work strategically and thoughtfully to prevent them. Again, pregnancy, is a time when nutrition is more important than at any other point in your life. Um, and I've found that the Pound to Cure diet is an excellent choice for pregnant women and for postmenopausal women. Um, I'm oftentimes a little bit surprised when pregnant when I get the question, hey, you know, can pregnant women go on your diet? You know, is that okay? When, when you really consider what our average American diet is, which is, you know, junk food and soft drinks and lots of meat and with lots of hormones and dairy and all of the, the toxins that are present in our diet that we tend to think, oh, well, that's okay, but eating a lot of vegetables, I don't know, that sounds a little dangerous to me for a pregnant woman. It doesn't make any sense. This, this, is a, uh, this is a way better way of eating at any stage in life, and it can help keep you um, healthy and minimize the weight gain that sometimes can go along with these um, 
um, times in your life. So weight, weight, weight loss after um, a pregnancy, especially a pregnancy later in life, uh, weight loss during menopause is difficult, but it's not impossible. It really just means that, that you have to understand that these moments um, of your life make weight loss a little bit more difficult, but not impossible. And you're just gonna have to work that much harder to make sure that you can get this done.